Hi dear friends, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Elvis. I hope you are all fine. Guys, today we'll be looking on a floor plan to draw a, a cross-sectional area when a cross-sectional area passes through a staircase. How is it actually going to look like? And guys, do not miss a minute on this lesson because it's very interesting, guys. And guys, before we continue, do not forget to like this video, guys. Please like this video. You share. And do not forget to subscribe also if you are new on this channel, guys. And you hit on the notification bell to always have the latest video being posted, guys. As you can see, this is a floor plan. This is a floor plan. And this is the cutting plane. You can see this is a staircase from here. You see, this is where the staircase begins. From here, this is how it's going. It is a U. From here, this is how it's going. You can see how the arrow is showing because it's showing that it is going like this. From here, this is how it's going. But according to this plan, a cross sectional area have passed through here. This way is passing. And as you can see, it is showing this way. That we're going to focus from here from this cut we're going to focus on this direction so when we cut through this point when we cut through this point and focus this way what are we going to see in this plan guys so as you can see you're going to see this wall you're going to see this these steps this one one two three four five as you can see we're going to see it you're going to see this one also because it has passed through so when we cut and we are focusing this way we are going to see this we are going to also see this ones we are going to see this wall we are going to see this wall also and this door this door and also this half window because when you cut and you're looking this way this this is a small corridor yeah because this is a palo this is a toilet this is room this is room this is room and this is kitchen but when you cut and you're standing in this pallo, you're going to see this door because this is a toilet. You're going to see this door of the toilet. You're going to also see a half window, half of the window. So you're going to see it. Then you're going to see this wall that you have passed through and you're going to also see this wall. But when you cut, you're going to see the foundation down. Let's consider that this house has been started from the foundation, but it has not been completed. Yeah, this house has not been completed. It has not been completed up, but we are asked to draw for the cross sectional area of the ground floor. Of the ground floor. So, from the ground floor going to the first floor, what are we going to see? This is what we are going to see these steps, this wall, this one also, this one, this door, and this half window, this wall also, and this wall. So that's what we are seeing here. That is what you are seeing here. You are seeing this. This wall. That's what you are seeing. You are seeing this wall. From this wall, we are seeing these steps. These steps. One, two, three, four. So this is the step that you are seeing. This is the steps. And from these steps, you are going to see these ones. These ones. So this is the steps. This is how it is being represented. This is how it is being represented in the section. So this is, so you just project these lines up, you project it, you project these lines up with your ruler, you project it up all of it. And also, this one you are going to see, this this wall, this is it, you are projected it up. It is a straight line because you are not seeing the other wall inside because this wall I have covered. This wall is already covering this wall, so you cannot see this wall inside because this wall is covering it. But you're always going to see the a one line going up. And from there, you're going to see this, this wall also. As you're seeing, it is a door. And this is the other side of the door. And this is the half window inside. The half window that we, you are seeing. So this is the half window. And from the half window, you are seeing this wall that you have passed through. This wall. This is the wall, and this wall also, this is the wall. 
but according to the foundation we have done to scale 150 to scale 150 this is the scale of 150 we have used in this drawing and when you are seeing this 200 when you when you divide it by 50 you're going to see the exact dimension and this is the riser this is the height of one riser and this is the one going so one riser is 18 and going is 25 centimeters so when you use this divided by 50 you're going to have 0.5 for going and when you do, you use this for uh, 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 for the riser you're going to have 0.35 the height of the riser is 0.35 when it is 18 we use a scale of 150 and also this is the same this is also the same thing we are talking about here and this is the footing this footing this is a, a concrete is the mass concrete that you have concrete down of five centimeters before your mesh and from your mesh you're going to concrete 25 centimeters thick 25 centimeters thick concrete before your pit before your pillar will be raised up and from the pillar when the pillar raised up and you finish this is your floor level this is your floor level sorry that I, I, I didn't mention I, I didn't indicate guys this is a floor level and, and this is a, also a ground level so this is a ground level but from here this is the dry packing and this is ground level and this is your floor that you have concrete that is thick like this so from here this is where the first floor this is where the ground floor is in so this first floor going up but that's why we have just cut it we have just cut it showing that this house is still continuing up so guys i hope you have really enjoyed this video please guys do not forget to guys do not forget to like this video also you share this video guys please don't forget to like you share and if you're also new guys do not forget to subscribe also and you hit on the notification bell to always have the latest updates of videos guys please thanks for watching and see you in my next videos